These are two mechanisms for uh, solid line web shooters, and then in here is the shooting mechanism. Ooh, popped off. We don't like that. So what I wanted to come up with here was something such that uh, the arm is actually able to move back and forth here. So it's gonna wind the rope. These two devices were pretty close. So this, this idea, you know, I came up with this one. I thought this one was gonna be the end all be all. Yeah, so I'm just basically working on making this more robust, but it's not gonna be easy. So I wanna maintain this footprint, better mechanism. So guys, this right here is my latest design. It still doesn't work, but look at this footprint. Look at this. It's, it's so small and this is electric firing, electric winding, all in one place. Nine volt battery sits right here. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a really hard problem to solve. As of right now, I, I, I have no idea where Zach is at with the project, if I'm being honest. But uh, I, I feel like an insane person because I've been working hard at this for a week. Basically, he got back to me and uh, was basically like, no, it doesn't need to do all that much. And I'm like, okay, well, I want it to do all that much. That's kind of why I'm doing this in the first place. So, yeah, I'm just going to work on it. And if I can get it to this footprint, that would be really great, I think. I have a nice casing designed as well. But yeah, we're just trying to figure out what's wrong with this thing. So I have this new design here that I'm gonna be printing now. Should take about three hours. But yeah, this, uh, not, not quite yet there. Everything works individually. I've seen the firing mechanism work. I've seen the winding mechanism work. I've seen the shifting mechanism work. It's just not reliable enough. So I have to make it better. And it's gonna be difficult, but we're getting really close. <laughs> Okay, so we're on iteration six right now, and we've solved most of the problems. We've solved most of the problems. First of all, this uh, winding mechanism works pretty good now. Let's see. Winding up. And it's stuck here. Yeah, the only issue is it can't pull itself past the point where it needs to go for it to lock back into place. So that's partially because the spring is just moving a little bit too far out and also partially because, well, for that I can just make the projectile shorter, that's fine. And partially because the firing mechanism now has a pulley system with an IMA, that's ideal mechanical advantage, of two instead of one. So the rope pulls here uh, and then moves, winds through here, down here, and then all the way back through here and then comes out there. So um, that's as this is pulling forward like this, it's actually pulling on it from this point and from this point. So it's actually uh, pulling on it with a force that is equal to two times the tension in the rope, which is scaled with the torque of the motor. Ergo, uh, it's easier to pull and it also stabilizes this pulling mechanism that is resisted by this very strong spring uh, by pulling it on both sides of the spring instead of just one side. So that's uh, an improvement, but what comes with that is, is this projectile, when it's reeled in, needs to push this backwards in order to get it back into place. And it can't do that as well because of course, the force on this end is much higher than the force on this end. So the friction that's throughout the rope is amplified by two to resist the rope here. And then the other issue that I'm facing is first of all, when I'm using this motor 
to switch modes, you'll see this reel pull back from the winding system. There, it just flexes just a little bit, enough for there to be kind of an issue. This is not super well constrained here. You can see it's also kind of sagging downward where it should be tilted uh, more upward like this. And as a result, there's also friction between the rope and the base here. Um, so what I've done to solve that particular issue is I've just added a little bit more room here for the reel to wind. Um, and hopefully that will get rid of most of the friction. To get rid of the issue with the IMA pulley of two adding more resistance, what I will do is add a, another pulley system with an IMA of just one that uh, pulls the reel backwards. Of course, that means it won't be like a complete capstan system. It'll be a system that needs to wind twice as much uh, in one direction as, as the other direction. So the, one of the systems will be slack, uh, particularly the pulley system with an IMA of one will be slack at most times, but that should be okay. So yeah, we're getting really close here. I've got some parts printing now, as you can probably tell by the crappy audio quality, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're, we're, we're coming to the end here. Oh, the fourth issue that I forgot to mention uh, was the issue of the latch that releases the projectile, which is why I've removed it here. It uh, wears down after a certain amount of time, which causes the projectile to be released far earlier than intended. So there's a little bit of a, of a chamfer along this edge. This edge isn't super sharp anymore. Um, and the reason for that is as the projectile, as this lever releases and the projectile pushes past it, uh, it's actually grinding away at that edge, which means that as that continues, it's actually easier for the projectile. It's easier for the projectile to push past it uh, before intended. That is before the spring is fully uh, compressed. So the rope doesn't come out as fast and that's not good, we don't want that. So what I'm gonna do to, to get rid of this issue is I'm going to uh, replace this plastic edge. I'm gonna somehow make it the face of a screw on here that will uh, go back and forth like this, such that the, uh, the, the metal screw will not wear down to uh, let the projectile go early. It'll be more precise. Okay, so we've got some string wound here. We're gonna release just a little bit of it. That's pretty low resistance, so that's good. Um, I don't know exactly how much is wound here, but we're gonna try to attach the projectile. There we go. Okay. So that goes there. We need to put the magnets in. Okay, we weren't able to fit all the magnets in the projectile, so it's not super well weighted, but we're just gonna see if we can wind it up all the way. This is tricky because there's gotta be enough force. I think it, oh, it, 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 it almost worked. So the motor can do it, but what's the, yeah. So I just pressed on it a little bit and now it's in. Okay, let's see if we can fire it. It's gonna be tricky here.
Come on. No, you asshole. Come on. Ugh, okay, what happens if I do this? <sighs> sure. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, this video is gonna fortunately have a sad ending. I've gotta get this to the editor because my new motors won't be here for another week. And yeah, all around, not really a good spot here. I love this project. I really want it to succeed, but it's... And the worst part of it is that I know that it's possible. Um, you've seen some of the tests that I've done. I've solved issues and then other issues come up seemingly at random, but yeah, we're, it's going to be okay though. It's going to be all right. We're going to get some new motors and you know, we've, we figured a lot out. We've learned a lot. I mean, and look how small this thing is, right? We're going to have to add the electronics back here. So that'll come next time as well. But the mechanism is is nearly there. It's super compact. Just has a few kinks to work out. But yeah. So there you have it, guys. Um, my Chronicles of Misery, uh, iteration seven, needs needs some work. We're gonna get those new motors in. We're gonna get new fasteners in. Just tweaking slight features so that we can solve some of these very small issues that amount to no functionality. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, next time we'll have a completed design. <laughs> so stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.